Hey, this is Ayush here and welcome back to my another video. In this video, I'm featuring the tier 6 premium Italian light cruiser, the Tocca di Osta or Tocca degli Osta. So in this match, I'm just going solo and the map is Aurora. So let's see how it goes. First of all, I would like to thank Gundam Monkey for helping me with his account to make this video. Without his help, this video wouldn't have been possible. So this is Tocca di Osta. And you can already see what's the unique feature of the ship this is the semi armor piercing shells or sap as it's written there. And this ship has two types of shell AP and sap. So, what sap shell does is it has higher damage than armor piercing shells, but the penetration power is less. Like you can get it by reading semi armor piercing, which means it does half the work of the armor piercing ones, but the damage is high. So, it's like British cruisers just pizza style like italian style so there's a pensacola spotted and this shell is really good in dealing against cruisers mainly light cruisers and destroyers heavy cruisers have like more armor which the shells couldn't penetrate for most of the time but since pensacola is lightly armored heavy cruisers so this shell is gonna do its work really well so you can see how good dispersion is like dispersion is really good and also the shell velocity of the ship but the main problem lies when the shell lands the ship so what happens is like when the shell or this lands it is like a bit before the ship or a bit after so it's like the same problem which kgv has the king george 5 had when she came recently so those are the tops from hatsuharo glad i moved reverse was able to dodge them so even with such a good dispersion you will mostly get like 4 to 6 shell hits it's like 5 shell hits here and ok see we start getting the battleships which are behind me Hatsuharu is there running back not gonna target him because shell won't hit him and Pensacol is spotted again and he's behind that island and I know the shell arc of the ship so he's not gonna hit him there I'm just gonna wait for him to come after the island those are some blind shots ok got one hit Queen Elizabeth is there and ok the shell weren't able to go over the island and the ship is like angled really well here so most of the shell won't hit him and ok Pensacola is spotted again he's running back to the cap he's like he's gonna like go over behind the map cause he's really low HP but I'm just not gonna let him do that and ok he survived not getting citadel by the ship and he's almost gonna give it down now and look at that, that's a really good shell dispersion. Like it's just completely tight. And okay, Queen Elizabeth came out. And there goes the Pensacola. First strike. Gonna drop a bit more ahead because the ship has started accelerating. And he's firing HE. Just gonna pray I don't get any fires. And okay, there's Vogue. This shell also do citadel and the citadel damage is like 900,000 it just varies because it depends on the enemy ship's damage reduction capability so I have gotten 1000 damage citadel with the ship as well so one torpedo hit on Queen Elizabeth which caused a flooding and semi armor pressing shells are not really good in dealing against battle ship I'm just gonna show you why because these are semi armor piercing which has lesser penetration than armor piercing shells so we'll mostly get half pen or maybe normal penetrating hits on the battleships and also against heavy cruisers but not against light, uh, lightly armored heavy cruisers like that pensacola and other light cruisers and destroyer and also it's good against dealing aircraft carriers so basically i'm just trying to say is that semi armor piercing is good in dealing against lightly armored targets but battleships are like heavily armored so you just have to switch on to armor piercing ones and you saw 4 shells but none of them just penetrated it so I'm just gonna switch back to AP shells drops it out and he's gonna take them all I think so first hit, second hit and the third hit yeah he's flooding now he already used the damage control and I'm just gonna think that nobody just tries to steal the kill okay nobody was successful stealing that kill there and Isi Juicy is there Isi Zuchi and Congo so 
I'm just gonna top Congo and Congo is just gonna go a little bit back. So I'm just gonna predict his trajectory and fire the tops. And since there's Isizuchi, which is a tier 4 battleships, that means lower tier battleships have lesser armor. So I'm just gonna fire the sap shells on him. Okay, five shell hits again. And I think Congo is gonna get hit by one torpedo at least. Okay, one hit, two hit, three hit. Okay, all three of them hit. Then the third torpedo salvo also caused the flooding damage. So it seems like I can get the Kraken here. This is which is low HP. I'm just gonna finish him right now. And back to AP shell because Congo is like a bit heavily armored. Okay, this is we survive. One more shell hit and he's gonna go down. Okay, time to get finished on the Congo. Never mind, someone already got him. So there goes my Kraken. There's a destroyer alive. He is on our base home cap. And we're already capping the enemy base, so the destroyer is just gonna turn our cap there. And I'm just gonna try and move there as quick as I can. This had a very good chance to get a Kraken. Almost missed that on the Congo because I was too busy with the Suzuki. So I've taken care of the Congo first. So we're gonna switch to Shaft shells here because that's a destroyer. But I don't think I will be able to go there in time. Destroyer is out of the cap a little bit, but he's mostly gonna turn back and just gonna go after the range. So we captured the enemy base here. So the ship is like pretty well balanced. Has 21,000 HP. That's 22,000 because of the camouflage I'm using. But basically it's 21,000. A little bit higher than Sirius. But Sirius has 10 guns and also has HE shells. This has only 8 guns. And but still even the guns are really good. Just the thing is that the point when where the shell lands is like very inconsistent. It might even hit the ship or not. And this ship is hard to master. But then the torpedoes are also really good. 8.10 km long last torpedoes, which has a really high flooding chances, like you saw. The three torpedo salvo heads cause three flooding. And okay, we won, got the battle star and iron fortress battle. So this ship is available in the Blitz Pass at level 1 report. And it's like a really good ship for tier 6. It's well balanced in all points, just has absolutely no AA. But the concealment is really good for a cruiser. After you fire, it just goes equal to your max range. So 67,911 damage, 1 capture point, 4 ships destroyed and 2 aircraft destroyed. Just the AA is like really good, it's like, like no AA there, non-existent AA. And the team didn't do much thing. They supported that they did really good on the support role. The worst part was like behind me all the time, I think. In enemy team, like they all just gotten taken down. Even that Minakazu did 3.3k damage, so it's like he just flanked all the way around to get in our cap and capture the area. So 139 shell hits, 32 AP shell, which caused 7k damage, and 107 sap shell, which caused 32k damage, 21k damage by torpedoes, and 6.5k flooding damage and also three modules destroyed so this was a really good battle and in my opinion the ducati also is a really good ship and you should try it if you want to if you're willing to spend money on the blitz pass so that's all this in this video thanks for watching guys Bye.